Hello again everyone. In this video tutorial we are going to graph this given quadratic function without using a calculator. So before we go any further let me remind you that this given function is also called a parabola and the standard form of the parabola looks over here ax squared plus bx plus c and one more thing just keep in your mind that f of x is always same as y so that means in our case in this standard form this function a is 2 b is negative 4 and c is positive 5 and one more thing our graph of our given function is going to look like this one is going to open upward it's going to open upward because our leading coefficient a which is 2 is a positive number and in this very first step we are going to find out how many solution does this function has to find that one we need the discriminant which is b squared minus 4 times ac so let's find out the value of the discriminant where a is we have a 2 b is negative 4 c is 5 so let's plug it in see what happens so negative 4 square minus 4 times a is 2 c is 5 so this is going to be a 16 minus 40 which is going to give you negative 24 and you're going to see negative 4, 24 is less than 0 which is a negative number that means our this discriminant is less than 0 and now we will be using this fact if the discriminant is negative number if it is less than zero then there is no solution whatsoever in other words no x intercepts so that means we will not have any solutions and in this step we are going to find the axis of symmetry and here is our axis of symmetry formula x equal to minus b over 2a where we know our a value is 2 b is negative 4 and c is 5 let's plug it in see what value we're going to get negative and b is negative 4 divided by 2 times a is 2 so on the top it's going to become positive 4 or 4 equals to 1 so that means x equal to 1 is our axis of symmetry and here is the graph of our axis of symmetry which is a dotted line or the broken line it's a perpendicular line that passes through x at x equal to 1. so the vertex which is also called turning point is just simply a x y value or x y point and in our previous step we figured out x was equal to 1 so now we're going to figure out figure out y by plugging in this original function or equation let's go ahead wherever you see x replace it by 1 and we're going to find value of y so 2 times x is 1 square minus 4 times 1 plus 5 so that's equal to 2 times 1 squared is 1 minus 4 plus 5 which is 2 minus 4 plus 5 that's going to give you y equals to 3 so that's our x y value our vertex is going to be simply x is 1 y is 3 and that is our vertex and finally our y intercept is going to be simply the constant value which is our c 
so that is so that means our y intercept turns out to be simply positive 5 now in this step we're going to put together our graph these are the info that we have collected so far in our previous steps so x of symmetry is obviously x equal to 1 you know that thing the vertex is 1 3 this is vertex this is 1 comma 3 this is our vertex and our y intercept is 5 this is our y intercept which could be written as also phi 0 comma 5 now let me just remind you one thing this uh, exosymmetry acts like a mirror whatever you see on one side you're gonna see the same thing on the other side side as a reflection so if this is the point where you're gonna see its reflection on the other side it's gonna be of equal distance so it's gonna show up on this side that's gonna be the other point and that point is gonna be 2 comma 5 isn't it now so it has no x intercepts and we know it's gonna open up opens up so to be more precise we need a one uh, maybe a couple of more points to to make sure that our gra graph looks realistic so let's go ahead and use this uh, uh, t chart uh, technique x y so let's pick some easy kind of x value so i'm gonna pick x equal to let's say 3 and let's figure out what is going to be y value and here is our original equation let's wherever you see x replace it by 3 and see what y turns out to be so y equals to 2 times replace x by 3 minus 4 times 3 plus 5 that's going to give you 2 times 9 minus 12 plus 5 that's going to make 18 minus 12 plus 5 that's going to give you 11 so y value turns out to be 11 so that means 11 is somewhere here okay so what we are looking for 3 comma 11 so 3 is right here 3 comma 11 is right up here so 2 and uh, 3 comma 11 is going to be this one if you can see 3 comma 11 do you see this one over here we figured out one point now once again these exosymmetry behaves like a mirror what is going to be the reflection on the other side so that is going to be simply the equal distance same distance so 1 and 2 1 and 2 so that turns out to be on this side which is going to be negative 1 comma 11 isn't it on this side so this is going to be negative 1 comma 11 so how many points we got now let's go ahead and look at it so we got this point we got this point we got this point and we got this and this now we're gonna go ahead and connect these points and we're gonna get a really neat and precise graph thus this is our final product and this graph uh, has obviously no x intercepts thanks for watching and please subscribe to my channel for more exciting videos